которая поступила. Standard time um, is, it, or Eastern Daylight Time, which we are in right now and are in most of the year, is the time is the same uh, variation from the, uh, the I, I think it's like Greenwich time or whatever 
um, it's the same variation. So we would actually be in this same time, and so we would be in the same time as New York and, and, and uh, other states for most of the year. It would only, uh, the difference would only occur during the winter months, and, uh, from November to March, and that uh, change, instead of falling back and springing forward, we would just stay at the same time, which would um, make our sunsets in the winter later, specifically after five. Uh, right now we have sunsets as early as four, um, 415, somewhere around there. And so people are getting off of work in the dark, traveling their, their um, commute back home in the dark, which it's harder to see and therefore can increase accidents and, and um, accidents with wildlife, accidents with, with um, other cars. And also, uh, so there is, there is some studies um, referenced in this commission that show the, the, the costs of falling back and driving during, during the night is, is somewhere about 30 lives a year. It's not a great great number, but it's it's um, an increase which we couldn't mitigate with this uh, or help mitigate with this um, action. So back to the main uh, criticism of the of the plan. The main criticism of the plan is uh, what about the children that are going to going to school in the mornings, and um, how will they be affected by potentially having darker mornings? And the commission studied that, Massachusetts studied that, and they concluded that the recommendation by the, the American Association or, uh, yeah, of Pediatrics that they agreed with their recommendation that kids need to sleep more. They, they, we shouldn't be starting school <laughs> as early as we do. Because people are, the kids are essentially asleep during the first periods. Um, and so they recommend that we move our times, our start times, to 8.30, which would be in accordance with what, or stagger them after 8.30. I did not include it in this bill because currently administrations can already adjust the times um, of, of students and start times. So I felt that that would be limiting them, not really enhancing. But we would definitely want to recommend um, that they do that. Uh, so with that change, there has been brought up before like what about Vermont? What about the people that are split? We have a couple of districts that are split between New Hampshire and Vermont. And if we're starting later, specific, like about an hour later, um, in, in our start times of school, and uh, we didn't fall back. So the, the schools in Vermont would normally start at 7.30, the schools in New Hampshire would start at 8.30, it would essentially be the exact same time because we have different times now. And so um, it was brought up in the House and was requested on the House floor that Vermont be added to the bill. Um, and it was voted down. One of the reasons why it was voted down is every state in New, in New England has a bill regarding daylight savings time. Every state, except for Vermont, has chose this method of moving to Atlantic's time zone and off of daylight savings time, following this recommendation. Whether it be Connecticut, Rhode Island, all of them have this um, plan, except for Vermont. Vermont is still doing the old plan of daylight savings time um, all year round, which has been passed by other states, including Florida and Massachusetts er, and California. However, you would need an act of Congress to allow that. Currently, Congress says you can either take daylight savings time or leave it. 
Those are your two options. You cannot take it for any more time or less time. This is the times that you will be switching if you opt in. And so because they're not really on board uh, with us and because of um, the, essentially the solution to the, to the time, the start times and relative uh, times of schools, um, it was decided in the House overwhelmingly to not uh, add Vermont. However, it's obviously your decision if you'd like to. I'm, I think it's better to, to uh, add Vermont as a condition than to, to not pass the bill with my, my position. Just in case, you know, Massachusetts passes theirs, which is in, the, in their process right now, and so that we can make, move forward with that. Um, and I, I uh, am open to any questions. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you.